this is Bob White, and uh, I just uh, going to make an attempt to uh, repair the door on this on this uh, Toyota. This Toyota was uh, involved in a tornado here a few weeks ago, and it got damaged, and the door got bashed in here, and uh, so now this window won't roll down. And what I'm going to do is. I'll try to follow some videos that I saw about uh, how to replace uh, the uh, actuator in here. I have to go into the door anyway. When this was caved in, I was able to pull it back out with some suction cups. That's another video, but uh, suction cups. But now it, it still would not go up and down. So now I'm going to try to follow that video, and we'll just see how long it takes to do that. Here's a suction cup I used to. To, uh, pull that den out. Works real good too. So, let's see how long it takes to uh, get into the uh, mechanism here and see what's going on. See if it's bent. So, I'm trying to talk my way through this as I'm doing it. I gotta take this off. Okay, pop off this uh, little cap here and. Uh, the only thing I really need, well, I, is a Phillips screwdriver, maybe uh, a straight blade screwdriver for popping the little devices out, and uh, possibly a, a 10 millimeter wrench. Okay. I'm going to use a screwdriver and uh, see if I can follow along with, with what they were doing with the uh, video. Take this screw out here and uh, This thing here pops right off, and uh, inside the I gotta pop, pop this off here. This just snaps in and uh, pops off pretty easy, actually. And there's a screw behind here for the door handle. I don't take too long with my taking the screws loose. Okay, down inside here, there's a little rubber mat. And underneath that rubber mat, rubber mat up top, underneath that little rubber mat, there's a uh, another Phillips screw. This is supports the door handle, the door thing here, and the door frame. And, uh, most of these screws are. They, they're going into little plastic pieces, so they're not really tight. Okay, now this thing here kind of slides back. <laughs> yeah, right. That pops up. Okay, there it is. Okay, and then got to pull these. Uh, oh, look at that. Huh. I wonder if I can, sometimes that thing going up and down, it might have pulled this plug loose. Has this one here has a little little tab in the side. You push in on that side, uh, you push in on that tab, and then it'll pull out. Pull out. This one here. It's on the back. It's on the back right there. It pulls out. here that holds the this is what actually holds the uh, door this to the frame of the door find out if this video is how it, it seems simple when I was watching it we'll find out okay now there's a screw here and, and there's two screws along the bottom here <coughs> These screws are 
They're like, uh, kind of like a sheet metal screw, they, but they, they just go into plastic, so you don't really need to torque down on them too much. Strip out their plastic. And uh, the rest of it is just held together with clips. It's loose. It's loose. It's out of there. It should just, it should just pop out. Got to pop it away from those, pop it away from those deals, and then at the top it just slides up, just like that. Okay, in the back here, the cables that control the door handle and the lock. Okay, there's a green one and a white one. Green is on the bottom. That's a, it's a shorter one. And they just, they just pop out. I can't show you with video here, but. They just slide out of the little slots they're in, and then the ball is in the end of the of the actuator. So, okay, there it is. That's the side. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, the next thing is to unplug these. This is a. Uh, Put that out, and the, the speaker. I gotta take the speaker out. A little tab here that pulls up. Okay, then the screwdriver. How long it takes to do this? What I'm looking for here is some kind of damage inside this door because that, that window won't go down. It goes down part way and, and then hits something. So that apparently when that uh, dent was in the door, it somehow damaged the. Uh, window mechanism. Okay, that's free, nothing wrong with that. Gives me room in here to operate. Now I gotta take this uh, take this uh, vapor barrier down. Now this one here, they use a kind of a clear glue. Some of them use it, well there's that black tarry. You know what they call it. Uh, anyway, this vapor barrier is glued on with a sticky kind of a glue. barrier the mirror yeah I had to replace the mirror and the front headlight on this one and the tail light in the back because uh, when so something in the tornado damaged it it crunched it in in the Something fighting. Or else you gotta, you gotta be smarter than the device. Shut up the video for that one. And I gotta disconnect all the tape and all of this, this stuff here. So I'm gonna shut shut it down for a few minutes. Until I get that loose, and I'm gonna start it again.